Aloha! Welcome to Lesson 10 of our Natural Cloth Diapering class here on Easy Peasy. In this video, I'm going to talk about cloth diapering plus elimination communication. The two go hand in hand. If you're new to the concept, EC is a gentle method of allowing the baby opportunities to pee or poop in a potty or toilet. This is just an introductory video. I don't have time to go into all the details of how to practice elimination communication. If you're interested in learning more, I'll leave some resources in the description box below the video on how to start EC. Also in this video, I will show a few types of cloth diapers that could be used as EC backup, but it's not an exhaustive list of all the types. If you're interested in this topic, please subscribe. I'll be sharing our EC and cloth diapering journey with our third baby who's expected in February. The two practices of cloth diapering and elimination communication can both benefit each other. Let's start by looking at how EC can make cloth diapering easier. The first way has to do with poop. Every poop that's caught in a potty is a poop that doesn't need to be washed out of cloth diaper. This makes both changing cloth diapers and washing them easier. Also, at some point in your EC journey, you may use fewer cloth diapers than if you weren't practicing EC. I caveat this because during the newborn phase, I personally use more cloth diapers than somebody who's not practicing EC, and that's because I like to change the diaper after every pee or every poop. However, when I get farther along, about five to six months old, start having a really good catch rate, then we may use fewer cloth diapers. It's important to keep in mind that the EC journey is not linear, so you may be doing great for a while where you're not using very many diapers, you're catching a lot in the toilet, and then all of a sudden you may experience a potty pause where your baby's refusing to use the toilet, and you may need to go back to using more cloth diapers. So just remember that this is a learning and a developmental thing. Just because it's going one way at one stage doesn't mean your EC journey will always continue on that same way. Now let's look at the ways that using cloth diapers as backup can benefit your EC practice. The first is that when you're using a natural fiber cloth diaper such as a cotton cloth diaper, the baby can feel wetness. So that helps them to maintain their awareness of when they were eliminating. Oh, I feel this sensation in my body, then I feel this sensation in my diaper, and then mommy changes my diaper, something along those lines. Often for babies or toddlers who practice EC and wear natural fiber diapers or training pants, they'll let their caregiver know right away if they're wet or if they're poopy. So for example, when my daughter was a toddler and she wasn't yet potty independent, if she had wet training pants, she'd take them off and come and bring me her training pants. So then I knew to lead her to the potty, have her sit down, see if she needed to pee anymore, help her change into a clean, dry pair of training pants and wash her hands. This helps with awareness on both sides, the baby feeling that they're wet, and then at some point they may be communicating that to the parent, hey, I'm wet. When I'm practicing EC full time, I like to change the diaper every time it's been peed in. And so for me, I just feel so much better using reusable, washable cloth diapers because I don't like to throw away a disposable diaper that just has a little bit of pee in it. The few times I did use disposables, like when I was traveling, we just went through way too many of them way too quickly. Also, if you choose a type of cloth diaper where you can use just the inner absorbency without a waterproof cover, then at times when you have your baby go coverless wearing just the absorbency, you as a parent or caregiver can see right away when that diaper is wet and so you can know to change it right away. This helps you become familiar with your baby's elimination communication patterns or their natural timing. How long since they woke or they ate do they eliminate? I'm going to talk a little bit about the different mindsets, whether you're just cloth diapering or if you're practicing elimination communication while also cloth diapering. For those who are just cloth diapering, you're hoping the cloth diaper will catch everything, whether it's a two-part system with absorbency and a cover or an all-in-one where it's all together, you're hoping all the pee and poop will stay in. You don't want any pee leaking or poop explosions. So you're relying on your cloth diapers to catch all eliminations. 
You may possibly change your baby on a schedule, such as changing their diaper approximately every two hours. You may be looking for a cloth diaper that's absorbent, so you can go a long time between changes. Now, in contrast, if you're both practicing EC and using cloth diapers, you're hoping that some of the pees and poops will be caught in the potty or toilet, and those that you miss will be caught by the diaper. Having a diaper as backup in this manner helps take any stress away. Most of us in modern Western cultures do not practice EC with diaperless, diaper-free babies. Most of us are using either disposable or cloth diapers as backup most of the time. We may do short periods of diaper-free observation time, but if you're just letting your baby roam around bare bottom naked all the time and they're peeing and pooping on the floor, that's not helpful to the learning process. So most of us are doing both the potty and the diapers there as what we call backup. Having this backup makes practicing EC a lot less stressful. You don't have to worry about ruining your couch, ruining your carpet, what happens if there's a miss in the car seat. You can rely on the diapers just like anybody who's cloth diapering would rely on them. When choosing cloth diapers for EC backup, Rather than looking for the most absorbent option, what's good to look for is a diaper that's easy to take off and put back on. That helps to frequently be able to offer the potty or change the diaper throughout the day. Rather than changing on a certain schedule, a parent who practices EC is more likely to change the diaper because it's wet or soiled. Now I'm going to give you an overview of some of the types of cloth diapers that work well when you're practicing elimination communication. Again, I'm not going to cover every single option in this video. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe. When choosing cloth diapers to use for elimination communication, I like to have at least some cloth diapers in my stash where I can use the inner absorbency separately from the waterproof cover. And then at times when I want it, I can add the waterproof cover. I also like to think about ease of putting on and taking off the diaper. First up, one great option for elimination communication backup are cloth prefolds with a diaper belt. This is an example of a cloth ease prefold from Green Mountain Diapers and a Baby Green's wool diaper belt. If you want to see how to put this on, you can refer back to lesson three, where I showed how to put various styles of natural cloth diapers onto a baby doll. Another great thing about prefolds is that you can also use them just laying out flat with your baby laying on top during diaper free time and it will still absorb the pee. Another option that you could choose to use coverless and then sometimes with a cover is a fitted diaper. So a fitted diaper is shaped like a diaper, it has elastic around the waist and the legs and it may have a closure like this one has snaps. Another option where you can use just the absorbency is cloth training pants. If you're interested to learn more about cloth training pants, I have a detailed blog post on Easy Peasy, and I also have a series of videos I did on this channel about cloth training pants. So for any of those three options, you could use them alone at times like when you're home and you can watch your baby closely, see when they eliminate and take them right away to the potty. But at other times, maybe you're busy cooking or you're gonna be out and about. For nighttime, you can have them wear a cover over them. So I'll show you a couple options for that. This is a poppy wool cover that closes with snaps. And what you can do with this type of cover is you can try fold the prefold, which means just to fold it in thirds and then lay it inside. And then that makes it pretty easy to just bring this up and snap it onto your baby. When practicing EC, we don't worry as much that some poop might leak out of the prefold and get onto the cover because we're hoping to catch some or all of that poop in the potty. For those who don't practice EC, it's more common to actually fasten the prefold onto the baby with pins or a snappy. But when you're practicing EC, that's just one extra step that you'd have to unfasten it to get the diaper off. So I've found in my experience, just try folding a prefold is plenty good enough to catch the pee. This particular wool cover is also an all-in-two cloth diaper. 
So it has these snaps inside the cover where you can snap in an insert. So even if you're using pre-folds at home, it would be great to have some snap-in inserts for when you're on the go. Just snap this in really easily. And then for instance, if you're offering the potty somewhere like in a public bathroom stall and you need to take off the diaper and set it aside, you don't have to worry about that insert falling out if it's snapped onto the cover. This assembly baby diaper cover, which is made from recycled polyester, is another option for using over pre-folds or you can use it over the assembly baby fitted diapers. What really caught my eye about this particular cover is that it has elastic both on the front waistband and on the back. So potentially you could pull up this cover. Also, wool covers are a great option. Once they're lanolized, you can keep reusing them over and over again, even if they get some pee on them. And I like to pair wool diaper covers over either fitted diapers at a time when I want more absorbency and better containment around the legs, or at some times if we're really on a roll with catching things in the potty, then I might pair them over training pads as well. Those are all examples of two-part systems where you could use the absorbency separately or pair with a cover. Another option is a pull-on style all-in-one cloth diaper. This is the Blueberry Simplex Organic Pull-on Style All-in-One. It has stretchy side pads, which you can unsnap if you need to. And then the absorbency is sewn in to the cover, making this an all-in-one cloth diaper. It's also a pocket diaper where you could add additional absorbency. I think something like this pull-on style all-in-one and also Grovia is another company that offers something like this would be a great option for situations such as a daycare that wants both a waterproof diaper that's also absorbent, but perhaps your toddler is already independently using the potty at home. And if they have something like this on, they could pull it down themselves and use the potty when they need to, but daycare would also be reassured that there's waterproof protection. One reason that I personally like two-part systems is then I can keep reusing the waterproof cover multiple times. Maybe for three or four diaper changes, I keep reusing a polyester cover and a wool cover as long as it doesn't get damp or it doesn't get poop on it, I just keep reusing it all day. If it gets damp, let it air out. If it smells fine afterwards, use it again. If it gets poop on it, I go ahead and wash it. But when we're doing pretty well with catching things in EC, I can sometimes use the same wool cover for the entire day. It's important to keep in mind that the style of cloth backup that you use will change over time as your baby develops. Part of EC is really about allowing the baby to do what they're currently capable of doing. And so I like to honor that as well in choosing the backups. So for instance, a baby who's a newborn and is always being laid down for diaper changes may use a different type of diaper than a baby who's crawling and that poses its own certain challenges or say a toddler who is walking. So I don't like to get too set on the idea of having like a one size cloth diaper stash that I think is going to last me from a little after newborn stage all the way up to toddlerhood because what I want for my newborn, my crawling baby, or my toddler may be different. Just as possible examples, for a newborn, I really like the pre-folds worn with a diaper belt, or maybe just laying on a pre-fold on top of a waterproof pad, because I lay my newborn baby down each time I change the diaper. So even if I'm using a pre-fold inside a cover, I can lay them down, take off the cover, remove the pre-fold, put them on the potty, and that works just fine. For a crawling baby, I would be looking for something that allows for good freedom of movement so they can practice their crawling skills. Also, there may be times when I don't lay them down for a diaper change. I may just hold baby in my arms, remove the diaper, and immediately offer the potty. For example, with my first baby, when we would get home from a long day out, if I took his diaper off and set him straight down onto the potty, we would catch a big pee. However, if I laid him down on the change pad first to remove the diaper, he'd just go ahead and pee in his diaper. So I do like to have something that I can use to go straight from baby in arms to on the potty, also when we're on the go. So something like an all-in-two 
that snaps in could be useful in that kind of situation. So I could just pick this off and get baby straight onto the potty. For a toddler who is walking, I really like cloth training pants so that they can start to learn early on to push them down and pull them up, which is going to be an important skill to have when they finally do reach potty independence. A toddler may feel more trapped if they're wearing a diaper with a whole bunch of snaps on it than if they're wearing cloth training pants that they can push down themselves. I often see online the scenario of somebody asking, help, my one-year-old's taking off their diaper. What do I do? And in the context of practicing elimination communication, that's something we want to encourage for the child to be able to remove either their diaper or their training pants and to go and sit down onto their potty on their own. For example, when my daughter was a toddler but she wasn't yet potty independent, she would often take off her wet training pants, bring them to me, hand them to me, and then I knew, oh, okay, it's time for me to take her to the potty, have her sit down, see if she needs to pee anymore, have her change into a clean, dry pair of training pants, wash her hands, and give her that opportunity to practice the whole bathroom routine. But since she would notify me when her trainers were wet, I was able to know when she was going and respond right away. With elimination communication, it is constantly a learning process. And with a toddler, it's all about practicing the steps for the bathroom routine, which will eventually lead to potty independence. This is in contrast to many potty training methods that say, hey, wait till your toddler's three years old and then potty train in just three days. So in three days, we're gonna go from your whole entire life, you've always used the diaper to pee and poop in, and now, starting today and onward, you're only going to pee and poop in the potty or toilet. That's a completely different approach than elimination communication, where throughout their life, throughout their time, starting as early as newborn, starting anywhere up to about 18 months old, we're giving them the option sometimes that they can take if they want to use the potty or toilet, and they can gradually take over more of the process themselves until they gradually transition to just using the potty or toilet. This video was only an introduction, so if you're interested in cloth diapering, elimination communication, or both together, please subscribe. Also, if you're expecting a baby who you'd like to practice elimination communication with, you can hop on over and watch my video on newborn elimination communication supplies. This wraps up lesson 10. In lesson 11, we'll be going over cloth diaper friendly baby clothes. And in lesson 12, we'll cover some essentials to pack in your cloth diaper bag. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let's make cloth mainstream.